thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker in True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This I say, brother, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. If anyone is in league with those who hate the church, that's corruption. Right. Amen. Amen. Corruption inherits corruption. It's so sweet to be saved. It's so sweet to be saved. I've been to the water, I've been baptized. My soul's been converted and I feel alright. It's so sweet to be saved. It's so sweet to be saved. It's so sweet to be saved. I've been to the water, I've been baptized, my soul's been converted, and I feel alright. It's so sweet. It's so sweet to be saved. It's so sweet to be saved. I've been to the water. I've been baptized. so sweet to be saved. It's so sweet to be saved. It's so sweet to be saved. I've been to the water, I've been baptized, my soul's been converted, and I feel alright. It's so sweet, it's so sweet, it's so sweet, oh yes it is. It's so sweet, I know it is. It's so sweet, you gotta be baptized. It's so sweet, you gotta 
in our soul yes. to keep Amen. us in holiness. All right. To be able to carry our thoughts without murmuring, without complaining. Amen. Ever thanking God for all his manifold blessings to every one of us. Amen. Thank you for your church. Thanks, Ralph. Great. Have a praise and glory here. Hallelujah. Uh, and the heavy daughter of Maya been very faithful. They've been giving Christ regularly. Amen. Another $40. Amen. Amen. So again, we thank God for all the sacrifices that are involved. And I also want to make mention when you accept the responsibility of marriage, and marriage is beautiful. Amen. Amen. It's not good for man to live alone. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, rather than commit fornication, man ought to take oneself a wife. Amen. I teach that. Amen. And I believe in that. Amen. But it's never wise to have a wife if you ain't working. Who's going to take care of your wife? Amen. All right. Amen. If you ain't with, who's going to take care of you? Amen. All right, prophet. So I'm for marriage. Amen. But I think the responsibility goes with a married life. Amen. One thing, the husband, first of all, has to have a job. Amen. Amen. Or some means of visible support yes. so that he can take care of his family. Now, of course, in this dispensation of times, it's better for both husband and wife to work because these are the times that we're in. But I, I still maintain that there's responsibility in marriage. Yes. Now, uh, also, I, I want to clear this up and I, I just want to brush by it quickly. Mm -hmm. I have never <laughs> made a statement if somebody leave the church, they was going to die in six days. Oh, my huh? Don't read this mess. That's why I told y'all to leave this place. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Those people put everything in everything. It is throwing it out there because what they're trying to do is discourage. Yeah. And their whole life <laughs> is tied up yeah. and attacking the problem. But if you reflect and look back, that's why I know I have favor. Yeah. Yes. And I know my calling. Yeah. Did they not do the same thing that to the prophet that was before me? Yeah. And did not the Bible say that they won't do the same thing to those that follow yeah. after? Yeah. All right. So don't 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 kind of strain. <laughs> uh, but I do say, leave that Facebook alone. So I'm to bring this out. Right. Everyone who is feeding the information to Miss Martin, mm -hmm. Come on, and I told you not to do that. Right. All right, Prophet. Right. You gonna stand for judgment from the bottom. Yeah. 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 What you're doing, you're purposely feeding her mm -hmm. and causing her to have more strength yes. to attack the church. Yes. Now, first, it was attacking me on doctrine. But since I back up everything in the Bible, they had to ease up with me. Yes, Lord. That's right. Now we're trying to come against my character. And that ain't going to work either. Oh, yeah. 
I know who I am. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I've seen God's happy work to me. Hallelujah. You don't find too many preachers 83 years old. Amen. And don't take no medication. Hallelujah. And don't go to no doctor Hallelujah. and no hospital. Hallelujah. Show me. Amen. Come on. Now let me move on. All right, Papa. Hallelujah. Y'all really should have more things to do. And I don't know who it is, but obviously someone. But you all have more things to do than trying to feed a devil information to try to hurt the church of God. Does that not make you a partaker of the evil deed? That's right. Be careful. That's right. This is serious business. Amen. Now those people attack because they're blinded yeah. by a hatred yeah. that the devil has conceived in them. Yeah. And as I told you before, all you got to do, and I may not live to see it, but you, you, you just wait. Yeah. You will see an affliction come upon that person yeah. as, praise God, and I'm telling you, she'll cry out to God. Yeah. And the Bible says he'll laugh That's right. when your destruction comes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's not my anointing. Now, you know, uh, if you take notes, 16th chapter of the book of Romans, okay. mm -hmm. jump right in verse 24. Mm -hmm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Yeah. Now to him that is a power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ. Again, Paul took authority. My gospel. Uh-huh. According to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God. By the scriptures of the prophets. Uh-huh. By the commandment of the everlasting God. In other words, God gave the instruction to the prophet to give to you. Uh -huh. Made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. You have to obey the word of God. That is your proof positive. Now, I want you to uh, connect me with 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15. And jump right in at verse 50. That's First Corinthians. Those who have your Bible, follow close. First Corinthians chapter 15. Jump right into verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. If anyone is in league with those who hate the church, that's corruption. All right. Amen. Amen. Corruption inherits corruption. Yes. Contamination inherits contamination. Right. You can have a good cold glass of milk. But if you're trying to say it's only half full, and you've got a little stale milk over here, a little bit sour, you say, well, yeah, but I'm thirsty. Let me see if I can mix it in. You contaminate the good milk. Amen. That's right. You cannot add sour milk into good milk and keep the same consistency. Amen. Amen, prophet. It ain't gonna happen. That's right. Amen. You cannot take a halfway saved life and try to incorporate it with a life of people who are not saved because that's evil communication. Amen. We said about Solomon yeah. and it's so very important. The Bible says Solomon went after strange gods. Yes. After God had warned him twice. Yes. And he was fooling around with women who were not saved. And God warned him two times, said, don't do this. But he still kept doing it. And I told you, Bishop Paddock gave a teaching once and said, you can't find nowhere in the Bible where Solomon never repented. Because when Solomon did this, the Bible said, he was an old man. You could be in church a long time, but if you make up your mind that you're going to follow leanings of the devil and a wrong spirit you're going to end up in total destruction because you cannot part way serve God and this is what I've been constantly teaching y'all you've got to give your whole heart mind and soul to the kingdom Amen. because nothing matters but the kingdom you can't 
love anything over than God. All right. Amen. Amen. You can't put nothing over your God. Amen. Amen. That's right. Everything else has to come second, third, or fourth. But God must come first. Amen. Amen. And it has to be proven by a lifestyle that's committed and dedicated to the kingdom. Amen. Any money that you might have, give it to the kingdom. Then stand back and watch God work in your life. What are you going to do with, if you make uh, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a week? What are you going to do with it? I'll give half to the church and keep half. What you going to do with the half and keep it? Well, I got plans. But I think God's plans. Didn't the mission say I'm going to build a bigger barn? Because I got so much. But if I make a bigger barn, I'll even have more. God called him a fool. Amen. Can you talk about getting more money? And I'm getting ready to call you in tonight to judgment. And so you get in your mind on whether or not I'm right with God. Yes. I'm trying to think about myself. But you can't think about yourself when it comes to the kingdom. Yes. You gotta think about the kingdom. Nobody knows when judgment is coming your way. That's why I say, brothers and sisters, we've got to learn how to correctly think on heavenly things. And you do this by having a teacher who's able to teach you in the ways of righteousness. Amen. Because we don't know we ourselves. God always sends a guide. Amen. And we have to allow for the guide to guide us. Amen. Since we can't guide ourselves. God always had a shepherd over the sheep. Amen. Always. When we understand that this is a life journey to predicate on where we are going to spend eternity forever. We've got to start making up our mind to do things God's way. Amen. And uh, did you read that verse 50? Read verse uh, 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, right. and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Yes. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Praise God. And this is talking about when the trump of God comes with judgment, you got to be right. You can't be getting right when He spits the sky. You got to be right. Amen. And this is what the Bible is about: getting somebody right. Give me a warning. Give me twenty-four chapter of Matthew, and jump right into verse fourteen. Understand that we have got to get it right now. Yeah, you can't wait to judgment mm -hmm. and then try to get it right because it's too late. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, uh, get in verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Uh -huh. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. When you see the abomination of desolation, when you see all the trouble and confusion in this world. Spoken of people, by... People are attacking the church like never before. Yeah. Have no fear. Yeah. And, and, and when they can't tell a half-truth, okay. they'll tell a blatant lie. Yeah. Have no fear. Yeah. 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 Like, read the Spoken of by the Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Stand in the holy place. You're in the holy place right now. Amen. All this trouble, and all this trouble is brought on the earth by Satan. People looking for jobs and can't hardly get a job. Yet the rich people are exploiting the working class people as never before. They want you to work. Do you know both Republicans and Democrats are trying to block a bill 
where you can raise minimum wage to twelve dollars an hour. Amen. They want you to work for seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. Why? Because the more they strangle the little people, the working class people, the more they can keep them in subjection. But once they rise up and start making good money, good jobs, how is it that, as I said before, that the, the, the corporate structure can make more money this year and, and, and the working class people still trying to make it from paycheck to paycheck? Yes, amen. There's, there's a scheme here. Amen. This is why you got to stay in the church. Amen. When Jesus began to exploit those who exploit those people who didn't have too much, that's when he started coming against him. Yeah. Said, Wait a minute, we got you with this man. This man talking about uh, loving each other and doing right to each other, and, and we've been robbing poor folk from the beginning. We got to get this man. This thing might spread. Hallelujah, that's it. Hallelujah. He died so we might have a chance. If you stand in church, you have a chance to fight the devil, but you cannot fight the devil on your own. Amen. Amen. I don't care what kind of need they raise up. They raised up Martin Luther King. You see what he done? Yes. They told him don't go to Memphis. Don't, 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 don't campaign for these garbage collectors to have a union where they can make decent wages. I think they're making 35 cents an hour. Mm. How many gonna live on, off that? Then if you rob, rob a carrier, they put you in jail. Yeah. Well, how many gonna live? They don't care. That's right. But Jesus cares. Yeah. So when Martin Luther King went to Memphis, they had to organize that union there. They said, if you come, we're going to kill you. And he went. And they killed him. <laughs> that man, Walter Ruther, organized the, 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 the car industry to have a union. And that union was so powerful, they said, we got to get rid of that man. They put a bomb in his airplane and blew him up where he got dead. They got some highways named after up in Michigan right now, Walter Ruther. They, are, they took a suitcase full of a, a whole lot of hundred dollars, I think somebody said hundred fifty thousand uh, uh, dollars. I don't know whether it was Ford or GM, but one of them big ones. And the scripture and they say, now you kind of, and he was organizing a labor union, he said, you now, you kind of back down a little bit here. Yes, little, little snack for you. <laughs> he took it hundred fifty thousand dollars and gave right back to him. Man, what an interesting man, he was trying to organize. And he organized the most powerful union in the world. That was that auto industry union, I think they called it, the UAW. But finally, when Ronald Reagan took the president, he broke it. Now you got unions, but the unions work for the company. How you gonna get a, sh a, a, a wolf to watch the chicken coop because the fox is stealing the chicken? <laughs> So you got a big devil yeah. in place of a little devil. Yes. Yeah, right. so he ain't gonna take one at a time, but what he take the whole flock? That's right. That's right. Brothers, <laughs> our only escape is staying in church. And let's stay in church. And let's be happy. But if we stay together, there's no weapon formed against us. It's going to prosper. God's going to bless us. So we've got to look past natural conditions and we've got to black out all these enemies that are trying to come against us. Amen. You gotta black it out. Yeah. You gotta be strong. Yeah. You gotta give up a nickel character about you. Yeah. So when you come to church you say for God I live and for God I die and me. Yeah. Not playing no game. Amen. It's too late for game. Yeah, Life is real. Amen. Death is real. Yes, Lord. Hell is real. Yeah. If hell is real you know. Make up your mind. Don't entertain none of that foolishness. You ain't got time for it. When you last week, Mickey Mouse is on TV. I ain't got time for your foolishness. Let's learn how to serve God. Bobby Tiff, he was really saying that when that last trump sound, He's coming in twenty nine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you won't even. I mean, boom, he's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he catches you, that's where you're gonna spend eternity. That's true. Yeah. With him or without him. Yeah. There's no in between ground. Amen. Let's leave here with a new concept mm -hmm. in your mind. 
leave evil communication alone. All right. Amen. Leave people alone Amen. who don't care for us. Yeah. And you, you, they may tell you, yeah, but we trying to liberate you from Prophet Walker. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, uh, what's that man? Pick them people South America. Jim, I'm like Jim Jones. But if I tell you to drink a glass of poison, you do it, you're a fool. Don't blame me. Don't blame Jim Jones. That's foolish. <laughs> but they did worse to the prophets. And they did worse to Jesus. Yes. At least they ain't got no treat in the on you <laughs> But they might be trying to find one. <laughs> Let's learn how to respect and love each other. Yeah. We, got, we got something going for us. We got a sweet spirit. No matter how many cars break down, yeah. God always provides for transportation. Amen. And every time we go to that land, we ask how much. You see, such and such. Ain't no best place. Yeah. And God is providing. Yeah, because we believe in the kingdom of God. Yeah. And as long as we keep obeying God, yeah. as long as we keep a dedication, yeah. doors are going to be open. Yeah. No man is going to be able to close. Yeah. We're going to accomplish everything the vision has already given us. Because we look at things and call things unseen as though they were. Amen. You can't see it. Amen. But I see it. Yeah. I see that big in walking in here. I see it. Yeah. And I see a husband for someone, a wife well for someone. Have you talking you talk about somebody going off? They don't need that Facebook and come down here themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and if you happen to be watching, it's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Love Talk Radio.